Hi everyone, I'm Rich and welcome to this video. I am honored to be part of Wigwon's first ever Super Trainer Batch in Southeast Asia. And I'm excited to walk you through how this platform can help make your lessons more interactive, engaging, and student-centered. In this quick walkthrough, I'll show you how to create a free teacher account, build your first quiz even without premium access, and design a simple interactive lesson based on your topic. Whether you're just getting started with EdTech or looking for smarter tools to enhance your teaching, this one is for you. Let's dive in. Now let's go to wayground.com, choose sign up as a teacher, and use your Google account. You will be asked how you plan to use Wayground, either for school, work, or personal use. Since I'll be using this for school, I'll choose school, then select teacher. Then you will see a welcome note on your Wayground dashboard. You will be asked to identify your school affiliation, just type it in or select it from the search results. Then choose the year or grade level and the subject that you will be teaching. After that, you will be asked whether you've used Wayground before, just select your answer. And that's it! You now have access to your full teacher dashboard, ready to explore and create! If you're using a personal account, that's okay! Just remember to teach your students how to sign up as learners if you want them to access your content later. Now let's create a quiz. From your dashboard, click Create, then select Assessment. Then you can type questions manually or paste from your lesson plan. Or if you already have questions in a Google form or file, you can copy and reuse them here. You can also copy and paste your questions directly from your file and choose from different quiz types like multiple choice, fill in the blanks, and short answer. And even insert images or emojis for more engagement. Once you've added all your quiz questions, don't forget to set the number of points and the time limit per question. This helps guide your students and keeps the pace balanced. Then you can go to the Settings tab. Here you can add a title for your quiz or activity, and you can indicate the grade or year level it meant for. The next is to select a cover image relevant to your quiz. Before you assign it, don't forget to click the preview to see exactly how it will look from the student's perspective. Now it's time to share your quiz. You have two options. If you choose play, it means you will run the quiz live in class. Wayground will give you a join code, link, or QR code that your students can scan or click to join instantly. If you want to assign it as homework or asynchronous work, choose assign. You'll be able to set a deadline or specific date range for when it's available. After that, you will also get the same code, link, or QR to give your students. For non-premium users, just remember that there are few limitations but you can still assign and reuse their quizzes effectively. Now let's make an interactive lesson using Passage. In the Passage feature, you can attach a reading file or just type your content directly. You will also see a button to generate questions using Wayground AI. It can automatically extract key questions from your passage. Take note that you can modify each question based on the content of your passage. You can also add images or GIFs by uploading them directly from your computer to make it more engaging. Then head over to the Settings tab where you can input the title of your quiz or lesson, set the appropriate grade or year level, attach a cover image, and click Save again. Then click Preview before publishing it. Choose how your students will take the activity. You can either click Assign for self-paced work or click Play for a live session in class. There are two session modes that you can choose from. We have Classic Mode. Here you can control how many times the students can attempt the passage, shuffle the questions and answers, or enable fun options like power-ups. While in Test Mode, this mode is more structured, perfect for formal assessments with a stricter settings. Once you're ready, click Start and you'll get a code, link, or QR to share with your students so they can join the activity easily. Here's a sample of how the classic mode is set up using the generated code. On the teacher screen, you will see the session controls like who was joined, how many questions are done, and overall progress. On the student screen, this is how the activity appears as they take the lesson. Isn't it amazing? This gives us a clear view of how both the teacher and students experience the session in real time, making it easier to monitor performance, guide students on the spot, and keep the lesson engaging throughout. And that's it! 
you now know how to create an account, build a quiz, and set up an interactive lesson using Wayground. This platform is flexible, simple to use, and perfect for making learning more fun and engaging. If this helped you, don't forget to like and subscribe and share with fellow educators. I'll be sharing more videos on how to maximize Wayground for different subjects and learning styles, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching and happy teaching!